What's up there YouTube fam and Facebook fam? We are learning how to do .srt files for subtitles or captions within Facebook or YouTube or whatever you can put a .srt file into. We're learning how to make them today in Aegisub. If I'm not quick enough and to the point with this tutorial, let me know down in the comments below and I will get better as I go on. Let's go ahead and get to it with subtitling or captioning within Aegisub. I am on a Mac as you can see here, but I believe Aegisub works on Windows. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments down below. Open up our actual movie file here. I'm just gonna open this up with QuickTime. And the first thing that you wanna do when you have your video, go to text edit. Why I wanna bring up text edit is because this is what I'm going to be pasting and typing and doing all my subtitles in for the first part. And then I will move my text file from text edit to Aegisub. And if you already have your subtitles typed out, go ahead and skip to this time. But if you don't, I'm going to give you a couple tips on the spacing and things like that to help when viewers are actually seeing the subtitles or captions on the screen in terms of the length and how they go into Aegisub. If you already have them typed out, great. If not, I'm going to type these out really quick and just give you a couple tips. See right here of these captions that I've already typed out for this video. I'm kind of staying in between this four and five. I'm going over, but what that does is it keeps the amount of words that are on screen for a specific amount of time kind of palpable for the viewer. I don't even know what palpable means, but that's the word I'm going to use there. Correct me if I'm wrong. Also, when you're typing out, you want to use the hotkey command tab. I cannot stress this enough. Command tab, command tab, command tab. If I hit play on QuickTime, Javier, spice up this taco seasoning. Javier, spice up this taco seasoning. Enter. Then hit Command Tab, go hit Spacebar. By hitting Command Tab, I can switch in between my programs and then use the Spacebar and the left and right keys as need be. But it just helps so much when you're typing. So moving on, you've got all of your things typed out. Great. For those of you that have already typed out your captions or you typed them in Word or some other program, now is the time that you want to paste all that information into text edit. After you've pasted it there, probably what's gonna happen is you're going to be in rich text mode, which is not what you want it to be when you move it into Aegisub. You want it to be a plain text. So in order to do that, we go up to format, make plain text. The hotkey for that is shift command T, shift command T. And as you can see there, I'm toggling in between rich and plain text. I have everything that I need. I'm going to click save and let's move over to the one and only Aegisub. All right, so here's Aegisub. First thing we want to do is file open subtitles. I saved mine right here. So for some of you, when you open up this box, it might have like a defaulted to have a colon and maybe a or I don't know what you want to do is you want to get rid of these because if you do have colons or anything like that inside of your text it's going to separate all of those subtitles that you typed out unless you need that but most of the time it's going to create spaces where you don't want it to create spaces or new subtitle lines where you don't want new subtitle lines what I do is I get rid of that just hit OK and boom so there's all the material that you typed out. Every time there was a new line inside your plain text document, it starts a new subtitle or caption inside Aegisub, which is great. Next, we need to line it up to the video file. You can load in the video, but I don't actually recommend loading in the video because Aegisub is free and it is a finicky software. Just believe me when I say that. And if you don't, you'll probably run into your computer crashing when you use it at some point in time. Just save often. It's a free software, which I love, but just save often and don't lose your work, please. What I actually recommend is loading just the audio from your video file because the less amount of material that Aegisub has to work with, the less chance you have of it just shutting down on you. What I like to do is I go to audio, open audio file. I'm going to go to my video file that I've been using. And then if you hit open on it, now it will open just the audio from that video file, which makes it much simpler. Another tip for a lot of you, if you haven't used Aegisub before, your audio will actually probably look like this, which I also don't recommend because I can't read this. Like I don't know where the waveforms are and it doesn't help me at all. So 
What I do recommend is that you go to waveform display. Ooh wee, this is some great stuff. Audio waveforms, so interesting. So my first line is, I'm Javier Mercedes, and on this episode is science. I'm going to go here, click it, hit spacebar, and that doesn't do anything. Well, let's just go up here and click and highlight, and then hit spacebar. Ooh, look at that, it works. I'm Javier Mercedes, and on this episode, science. If you do need the video to look at what's going on the video to put the subtitles in there, sure, go ahead. But like I said, I don't recommend doing that just because all you need is the audio to go off of from the video. What is happening here is Aegisub needs an in and out point. This red is the in point, this blue is the out point. Now, the most important thing that I can teach you for Aegisub at this point is the keys S, D, and G. What G does is it finishes off a subtitle and it tells Aegisub, all right, this is the in and out point of Aegisub. And once you hit it, it will move on to the next subtitle. And then you give it the in and out points for the next one. S plays the whole file from in and out from red to blue. I'm Javier Mercedes. Like this. this episode, science. And then what D does is just play the very end of the file. Watch. Science. Because in most cases, all you got to do is know what's the very last word. If you already have everything typed out, I'm looking for the word science. So you could create your in and out points by clicking and dragging on this audio waveform and then just hit G and then that creates the subtitle. You can tell that this has been created by moving down one. You can see up here that once I hit G, it automatically moves to the next subtitle and it just guesstimates. All right, well, here's probably what you're going to be fitting in your next subtitle. Let's find out if it did its job. Just kidding. It's a book, done it. It's pretty close. Looks like it cuts off the word dinosaurs. So I click the blue. I hit D just because I know that I just need to hit the word dinosaurs. Dinosaur. Not quite. Oh, done it. Right there. Then I hit G to finish that off. S, D, and G. Cannot stress those enough. And let's move on. I'm going to hit S. Dinosaurs with teeth. Teeth that want to eat teeth that want to eat tacos boom hit g to finish that one off and i'm gonna move on another thing that i need to show you is that aegisub is pretty cool in letting you know when compared to how much text you have right here and how long you've made your in and out points for that subtitle let me put it this way it turns more red as you scrunch those in and out points i'll show you what i mean here so see this 31 and how it's, I have no idea what CPS means, but since this is really red, what Aegisub is telling you is that, hey, there's a lot of text right here. I don't think a viewer is going to be able to read all that, or your average viewer is going to be able to read all that before you move on to the next one. You should probably check that you didn't mess up. And lo and behold, Aegisub, I did mess up. Thank you for letting me know. So I'm going to move it just a little bit and then see what it does right here. See how it went a little bit less red? And I'm going to go back to it. And then I'm going to move it just a little bit more. And a little bit less red. I just want to show you that if you see red popping up here, that means that you're making your in and out points too short. But it's really cool in that it notifies you whether or not it thinks the reader can read all of what you've set your in and out point for. And it's still a little pink, but that's okay because... I know that Funny You Should Ask Mr. Dinosaur is on there for as long as it's said. Moving on. So like right here, I just messed up by clicking and now my in and out points are uh, off. What you can see right here is it shows you the previous in and out points. And what happens if you overlap them is it's like, hey, what happened? It's, it's giving you an error. It's saying, hey, you have two things overlapping and it's making that whole line red, which is cool that Aegis Sub also notifies you. You know what I'm gonna do is I'm going to save because I don't want to lose all of the stuff that I've done. So now I need to fix that. This red is the endpoint. I need to make sure it passes this line right here, just so there isn't two subtitles on the screen at the same time. And to finalize that, remember, you always have to hit G. Boom. Uh, yeah. Mm. So another thing you might run into is if you are playing one and then you want to split that line up, which is pretty easy and self-explanatory. So what you can do is you can insert before or after and 
what I want to do is I'll insert after and then it creates a blank one. Now when you type into a blank subtitle in age sub, right here I say kind of make it like nachos, but I want to split that up into two, but not yours. So now I'm going to put but it's not yours. So now I have but it's not yours after and I have this one before. So I'm going to go up here and delete it. Then if you were to hit spacebar and play, you can't do it because you're still here in the text editor. What you need to do is go back and click on the actual line and hit spacebar. Make it like nacho, but it's nacho. So now we go kind of not. Kind of make it like nacho. I hit G, then you move on like you did before. Same thing goes if you want to delete lines or anything like that. Just right click. You can paste lines, copy lines, cut lines, all of that stuff. Those are the couple tips or a couple of the problems that you might run into when using Aegisub. So let me fast forward till the end. When you get to the very last subtitle, you still want to hit G. You will have all of your subtitles ready to be put to this video. You hit save. And what we do next is go up to file, export as. All of this stuff is okay. If any of this stuff is there, you just undo it. Hit export. All right, so for Facebook, I don't know about YouTube, but for Facebook, at least at my workplace, what we do for our videos is we put, after you have your title written out, your, your name, you put dot lowercase en underscore US. And I believe that's probably English US. I have no idea why we do this. I, for some reason, when we didn't do this before for our Facebook videos, it's like the subtitles were weird or they didn't load. Uh, now they do. I, I, I don't know why we do this. Maybe you do it and it just works. Maybe you don't do it and it still works. Don't ask me why I do that. But for some reason, I know that at our workplace, we have to put dot en underscore us. I don't know. All right. Next thing you want to do in this one, I know you want to do is on subrip. So dot SRT. You do not want to do all supported formats. What you want to do is subrip. It's that dot SRT that we're talking about. Boom. Hit save. You have made a dot SRT file. Uh, for the rest of the video, I'll show you how to post it on YouTube and Facebook. But if that's all you needed, don't forget to subscribe if you found this helpful. And if you're not going to subscribe, please leave a like or dislike. Leave a comment down below. Tell me how I can improve my tutorials. If you do want to stick around to see how you post it to YouTube or Facebook, I'll do that right now. I'll go to edit video. Inside your creator studio, on that video, we go to subtitle CC, add new subtitles, English, upload file, subtitles file, choose file. So this taco subs caps dot en underscore us, there's the dot SRT, open, upload, and boom. And we can see it right here. I'm Javier Mercedes, and on this episode, science. Just kidding. It's about dinosaurs. Dinosaurs with teeth. And it looks like all of my subtitles are doing quite fine on the YouTubes. And I will publish these. There it is. Subtitles published. Now I'm going to go over to my Facebook. All right. So here I have this video that I'm uploading. I go to the captions. Boom. Upload SRT. See how it's highlighted? I can get that out. Boom. Open. And there you can see my subtitles working on Facebook. Check me out on Facebook. Check me out here on YouTube. I'm Javier Mercedes. If you're new to the channel, welcome. It's nice to see you guys. Leave me a comment down below. Leave me a like, leave me a dislike. Do something to show me your appreciation for the vid. Till the next one, Javier out.